Many things are really exciting about microbiome research, but uh, I think the most exciting uh, part is that uh, our knowledge and understanding of the gut microbiota has improved so much over the past few years, I would say. Um, it's been more than 50 years since we learned how to grow the bacteria from the uh, human gut, and our understanding only came from being able to culture in the laboratory. And since the 1970s and early uh, 80s, we've gone from culturing to uh, looking at the genome, the genes, uh, and extracting genes from gut bacteria, and our knowledge improved quite significantly. We were using one marker gene and analyzing and uh, getting to recognize the bacteria that are really present, and not only those that we can culture that represent approximately 20%. And today we can extract the whole combined genomes of the gut community and sequence it and analyze its functionalities. And so I think this is the, uh, uh, the in a way, this is a revolution of the way we can look at the microbiota, and this is really marked. Uh, so my own focus in research is the, uh, the functionality that uh, are expressed by, uh, by gut bacteria and how they can uh, act on human health by their interaction with food, by their interaction with other microbes and by their interaction with uh, human cells. And uh, uh, metagenomics, our ability to work with the genome fragments from gut bacteria is again opening a completely uh, new um, perspective for, for this research. We, we can now, for example, um, address questions on the mechanism of interaction between bacteria and human cells in the gut or also with, uh, with tissues of the, uh, the human organism uh, that we, we could never address before. We can explore the signaling that happens or occurs between gut bacteria and epithelial cells, for example, and, uh, and try to identify the molecules of the crosstalk between bacteria, our bacteria, and, uh, and our, our cells and our genes, basically. Well, I would say that there are two main domains of perspective. One is uh, health nutrition. So the improvement in knowledge that we are gaining at the moment uh, will allow to uh, improve our ability to uh, rationalize uh, strategies to uh, manipulate the microbiota for human health via nutrition. Uh, and this means that as we identify mechanisms of interaction between bacteria and the human organism, we, we know exactly where we want to drive the, uh, this crosstalk between microbes and, and human cells. And so we can have strategies to, to rationalize this. And the other aspect is uh, human health more classically as we see it with the pharmaceutical industry uh, in, in that understanding how, for example, gut bacteria talk to human cells allows to uh, pinpoint um, targets for new drugs, new therapeutics, basically. And if we know how uh, a set of gut bacteria can modulate the immune function, the defense uh, mechanisms of the human organism, then we can actually uh, apply those uh, new knowledge to, uh, to develop new drugs. So this is the, uh, the second area of, uh, of improvement that I, I can foresee.